Today we picked the greatest snack of all time. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Thank you for making us a part of your daily routine. Today we're gonna be guessing what the heck Mike and Alex destroyed this time, and we are gonna be retasting the top four grossest foods we have ever eaten on this show. But first, this is it guys, the final four. We are down to the last four snacks in our Munch Madness tournament, one from each category, and we're about to decide the best snack ever. It's time for Munch Madness Final Four. Woo! All right, so we've been through all the sweet snacks, all the salty snacks, all the meaty cheesy snacks, and all the chips, and we have crowned the best snack from each category. And now all that's left to do is taste and judge these last matchups. But before we do, let's take a second to look back at how our final four snacks got here. The road to victory. 64 snacks entered, only one can be crowned champion. Let's meet our four final snacks. First, Cheetos. They've been staining the fingers of toddlers since 1948. Cheetos were a favorite to win the meaty cheesy region, but not before fighting the most emotionally trying battle of their lives. Much like the Virginia soldiers of the Civil War, it was brother against brother as Cheetos took on flaming hot Cheetos. Red dust was shed, hopes were crunched, and Cheetos prevailed, paving the way to the final four. Bugles came from humble beginnings. Released in 1965 alongside daisies, whistles, buttons, and bows, the Bugle was the only crunchy corn creation to survive. Nobody expected this fourth seed to make it to the end, but fate stepped in. It truly is a salty Cinderella story. Sour Cream and Onion Lays is a perennial powerhouse in the snack it bracket, and this year was no different. The number one seeded chip that Dick Vitale once called if Duke University were a snack faced tough competition in its region. Ruffles fell first, and then faced Nacho Cheese Doritos to finally answer the question, which is worse, cheese fingies or onion breath? Rhett and Link went with their gut, both figuratively and literally, to bring Sour Cream and Onion Lays to the final four. And finally, Peanut M&Ms. These party essentials were created in 1954 by Forrest Mars, a man who ironically was allergic to peanuts. They chewed their way through the sweet bracket, defeating Reese's Pieces in a battle that fans described as nuts. Ultimately, they faced off with the fan-voted number one seed, Oreos. But without milk by their side, Oreos got creamed, and Peanut M&Ms proved that the EpiPen truly is mightier than the sword. I'm actually moved emotionally. This has been a big week for us. Yes, I mean, it has. we've been on quite a journey. You know, it's not about us, it's about the snacks. Snacks and Alex, we've been through a lot together. There's a lot of pressure, though. I'm really feeling the pressure. Like, if we get this wrong, I know. And we may have already gotten it wrong. And after eating all that, my health, I think, is starting to suffer. Yeah, well, there's only a little bit more tasting to go. Let's all right. Let's get to it. All right, our first semifinal match is the underdog Cinderella story, Bugles versus the powerhouse Lay's Sour Cream and Onion. Here's what we know about Bugles. They have 160 calories per serving, they are fried in coconut oil, and they give you witch fingers. And here's what we know about Lay's Sour Cream and Onion. They have 160 calories per serving as well. It's the third flavor ever introduced by Lay's in the late 70s, and our crew member Kevin once described them as pretty good. Pretty good. Let's pretty good. Again, let's read. I'd say they're real good. Get a little witch finger here. You come a long way, Bugles. And I'm reminded once again how good they are right now. Salty, buttery, tri triangular, what? geometric. Fun. But over here, you've got the delectable, crispy chippiness. Mm. Yeah, those are real good, aren't they? You know, as big of a deal it is to be in the Final Four, and you're both winners, I mean, I think we know what's up, right? Sour cream and onion. I thought you were on the bugle twain train with me. The bugle twain? The bugle twain. <laughs> I, lo I love bugles. It's been a great run. You think the victory of bugles is just making it to the final four? That's as far as Cinderella gets? Cinderella's gotta try her shoe on and not turn into a pun. I don't understand, I don't remember the story. But, <laughs> um, Man, no, the crunchiness. The flavor punch. There's a flavor punch in these. It's a low punch. It like does a punch so to the much. Groin. It does so much with so little, though. This is the gentle lover. 
Remember when you played one of these through a Funyun? It's a little childish. Remember how special that was? It gets you back in touch with your youth. Listen, man, the more you talk, the more I get into the bugle camp. Right. I'm getting inside my little bugle like a TP, and I'm not getting out. I'm saying bugles. Are you falling for the Cinderella-ishness of this? A little bit, maybe. But I do feel strongly about it. It's a great story. But it tastes so good. Look at you just I, sitting there eating them. I'm trying to get on your twain, but I can't do it. Well, we do have a tiebreaker who we could in, we could use. I think we need to. All right, tiebreaker it is. Introducing three-time NCAA champion, six-time NBA champion, six-time MVP, 19-time NBA All-Star, and the first person to be on this show who's taller than me, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Woo! Come on over. Ah. Uh. It is an honor to have you, yes. sir. Yeah, you got a little bike seat there. Yeah. <laughs> we got you a cream size seat. <laughs> okay, you now, three-time NCAA champion. So, being at that Final Four, how does it compare to being at this Final Four? <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's a different ambiance here, you know. <laughs> yep. not, you, you've not... never experienced this much pressure, is that what <laughs> no, you're saying? And, you know, all the, all the little kids that are watching and their lives will be affected by this, you know, we have to That is true. Okay, right, I'm, I'm glad you understand what's at stake here. You're right, this is very important. Before you, we have Bugles and Lay's Sour Cream and Onion Chips. Uh, feel free to sample them and then deliberate as you see fit. Okay. 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 Number two? Yeah, go All for right, it. okay. He didn't seem overwhelmed by the bugles, I will say. You know, he's, he's cool on but he's, he's, he's a champion. He's thinking. He's yeah. champion. You can't, he can't be shaken. He can't be shaken. So just give us your thoughts on each of them now that you've tasted both. Just general thoughts. Uh, the bugles are, are, are dry and unattractive. What? Let's see where this is going. <laughs> The Lay's are, are tasty. I, I love the taste, so I'm gonna have to go with the Lay's. He's gonna have to go with the Lay's. Yeah. He has spoken. You don't have to go with Lay's. Hold on, no, we're impartial. Do, yeah. We're just as impartial <sighs> as the man. I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed, but Kareem, I'd rather be disappointed by you than anybody else on the planet. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All he right, sour, sour cream and onion lay. Lay's moves on. Great job, Alex. Thank you. Hi, Kareem. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's find out who else we're sending to the championship game. All right, first up we've got Cheetos. They have 150 calories per serving. They're 60% fat, 35% carbs, and 5% protein. And Channing Tatum once described his perfect sandwich as peanut butter, jelly, and Cheetos on white bread. And here's how peanut M&Ms break down. 220 calories per serving. Originally, they were only available in tan, and they were originally voiced by John Goodman in the commercial, whose mother once worked at Jack and Phil's Barbecue in Afton, Missouri. Wow! Oh. You learn something new every day. Uh, I try to limit it to every other day, but you're right. Any day I can learn something new about John Goodman. Don't change I'm, the subject. I'm all about We've it. got a job to do. Let's start with the Cheeto, friend. So cheesy, so crunchy. I'm reminded why they made it to the finals. Everyone has his own personality that you kill when you eat it. Yeah. How do they make them? Does Chester the Cheetah, does he... Does he fart him out? Yeah, I think that's how it works. Him and John Goodman. John Goodman is sitting there next to Cheddar, Chester. Well, he's the voice for these, just to be clear. Oh. He poops these out. No, you don't know what John Goodman's up to. He's all over the place. I love how you got the big ones that have a different cheese to corn ratio than the little, little, little ones. If you want to get more cheese crunch, you just find a little one. Okay. We know we like those a lot, but don't forget about M&M. First of all, these are good back to back. I'd like to create a mix out of these. You wouldn't think these should ever compete for anything. Cause you can, I've got enough love for both of these, just like most of my children. But you do have a favorite. Right, yeah. I do have a favorite. Man, I've eaten a lot. I keep going back through the, the layers. There's something about the complexity. It's like a fine wine. It's, it's so like I'm on a trip to Napa with my wife. Am I there? She's like, no, you're not even on text. You're not texting with me at all. That's this fine. This is complete separation. That's fine, you know what? I'm, 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 somewhere, I'm at the beach. And she's like, I'm so glad you made these plans. You're so thoughtful. You think about our relationship. You're such a romantic man. What listen, are you talking just, about? Listen, <laughs> are you sucking up to your wife? Let's enjoy this wine together with all its many different flavors. That's kind of what eating peanut M&Ms is like, baby. 
It's so hard to compare these two, guys. It really is. They're both beautiful. We can't have a tie, though. I don't want to put cream through this. Let's just... Let's just decide in our own brains without even talking anymore and we'll do a three two one and put our hands over them and then If we disagree then we'll hash it out, but maybe we agree just based on instinct. Okay. I'm ready three two one oh! We agree Cheetos and the reason why yes is the cheesy it's just come it's it's such a unique snack. Yeah, and it's so Great. Imitated but never replicated? I don't know what the saying is. All I know is Cheetos moving on. moving on to the finals. And Alex, you know what? You've worked so hard this week. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. First of all, I want to thank you. I just want to acknowledge the toll mm -hmm. that this has taken on your body. I right. mean, you're worn down, man. I know. You, you need some help. Oh, thanks. Is, uh, is Kareem still here? Thanks, Kareem. Never forget that moment. No. Oh, I'm gonna keep it with me for a very long time. Now it's time for the halftime show. Oh, it's, it's Chase. Uh, okay, he is very talented. Oh, he's got a unicycle. What's he gonna do with that? Nothing. <laughs> Cut himself. Oh, he's got an apple. Remember, he can, he can take apart an apple and make a funny noise. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Chase. All right, now it's time for the championship. It all comes down to this. Cheetos versus sour cream and onion lays. Okay, man. We, look, we made it to the championship. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we, we knew we were gonna make it. Yeah, but now we got to make a very important decision. Two, wanna, no, two number one seeds made it to the final. I'm tasting this first. Yeah. Taste this first. Let's get a good old fashioned dink it and sink it. Man. It just triggers memories of positive seat. snacking for decades in my mind. But just smell a Cheeto. Just smell a Cheeto. I mean, it even it just smells so good. Give me a Cheeto stash. You got to make it. Look at that. How's that? How's that make you feel? Can you do that with a chip? I don't know. That's a good question. Try it. You already have a stash. Ah, oh, you can do it with that too. So they're still neck and neck. Okay, all right. Let me eat this one. I mean, I'm not so much a fan of cheesiness that that's really that's pointing me that direction. Maybe I eat them back to back real fast. I think the delicate nature of this chip, it's so thin and so dainty, yet such a such a strong flavor. Oh man. It is a gentle lover. This is more like a like a good therapy session. It's like wow. I feel like you're fading from the Cheeto side. I feel like your 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 allegiance is going to sour cream and onion. So real fast. But you know what? There's one thing about the Cheetos that over the course of this entire tournament we have not mentioned once. And it's arguably one of the most important factors of Cheetos. You can put them in your nose. Nope. Cheeto dust. Cheeto dust. How have we gotten this far without acknowledging Cheeto dust on the fingers? That Get, you then lick off. Right. It's like you enjoy it again. That's the dark horse factor. Do, do you think that the Cheeto dust is a good thing? I think it's a great thing. Yeah. I like licking my fingers. Damn, this is freaking tough, man. There's just something about that tang, though. Mm-hmm from the sour cream and onion that I keep coming back to. It's so surprising. The delicate crunch versus the bold cheese. Okay, let's do the three, two, one thing. Three, three two, two, one. one. We oh! agree! <laughs> that means our champion, the best snack ever, is Lay's sour cream and onion potato chip. Woo! Put it on there, Alex. Yeah! Cheetos, you made a great stand. You are excellent. Really, the real winner here is Frito Lay. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, we, got, we got chips for days. There you go. Let us know how much you disagree with us in the comments. <laughs> Woo! Or if you agree, let us know that too. And thank you to the legend, Kareem Abdul Jabbar, for helping us out today. Yeah, we should do this again next year. Yeah. And even better, with different stuff. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do make it. Don't promises. Click on through because Mike and Alex have once again destroyed something, and we're going to figure out what it was.
We might not have a basketball team, but we do have a collegiate t-shirt. Sport your mythical school spirit at mythical.store.